happy Valentine's Day, Pete. So yes, still time for going out running. Got my layers on, got my bottoms with my skins and got my um, top underneath. But also just wanted to share with you about um, wearing fluorescent things or something that's bright during the daytime, but also in the evenings. And I'll probably have put this on during the one evening this week so you can see what it's like. But this is quite luminous. And I think I've got this from, um, it was Sports Direct here in the UK. I think they still do them, but any type of luminous top is great. So I've got the top. Um, I've also got my kind of headband, which I probably showed before, which is great for keeping the ears warm. So it covers the ears, but as you can see at the back, Again, it's kind of luminous and it's got, you know, we've got the slight little silver bits which would actually shine up in the light of headlights of a car. Um, and also for my third layer, I'm actually putting my jacket on, which as you can see, again, is luminous. So yes, you can definitely see me coming a mile off and you see the little silver bits, which as they are doing this in the week where you'll see actually these do kind of shine in the dark, but I mean, this jacket, it's light enough. So although it's about one degree today, if I do get a bit warm, it's light enough for me to take off and just wrap around my waist. But I may not do that today. Um, and then because it's cold, got my thick gloves. So we're gonna go out, not quite sure of my route yet, but I could be out for about roughly half an hour. So as I said, you know, plan your route. Well, I say plan your route as you go along and just say to yourself, you'll either jog for, jog walk, 10 minutes out and then 10 minutes back. So wherever you get to in 10 minutes, then come back. Or 15 minutes, then come back. And that's how you pace it. You know, there's no hard and fast rules. Um, remember your breathing. So you're two breaths in, one breath out. So, so whether you're walking or you're doing your jogging, just do that breathing. And it just helps to kind of, when your heart's pumping away, it just helps to just control it a little bit. Okay, and it helps take your mind off your running. So I'll probably give a halfway point of where I am and what I'm doing. But um, yeah, so let's do it. Okay, so when you've got some really lovely places kind of on your doorstep to jog around, this is a great place. Pittsford Reservoir, great for jogging in groups with partners and you can still social distance. So, you know, it's not too bad at all. Okay, so here I am, Pittsford Reservoir. I've, I think I've jogged, um, so I've been going about 15 minutes and I'd say 12 minutes of that has been very slow jogging. It's nice, it's fresh, but it is nice out here. Wherever you can get to, to jog, you just make use of it. The countryside, the fresh air, and there's, say, lots of joggers out, passing many people that I know, say good morning to. And uh, I'm gonna get my puppy out, Brexit with me soon, so she can kind of jog with me. But keep going, I think this is gonna be a slightly longer one today but um, it's going to be a good one uh, a little bit of icy in some places but uh, you know whatever you can do just keep going at it I the views of the reservoir and this is the Northampton Sailing Club they do windsurfing here you can get lessons in all of that I try it sometime myself but great views views of the reservoir okay so approaching I call it my famous hill not that I would do some athletics training on but this is a really good one to give an idea of the scope of the hill I'm going to put this on the floor so you can't even see the top it's about about 250 meters um, and what I'll do I'm gonna practice my 
um, posture and arms that I'll hopefully be showing you next week of how to get up hills like this. So if you have to get up hills like this, you'll be able to do it slowly but surely. Um, I'm actually listening to music today. I've got certain tracks that kind of help me up the hill. So let's just see how we do. Okay, so we made it up the hill. We got two thirds up and then somebody was coming behind, coming down the hill with a dog. So of course, social distancing had to pull over to let them pass. <sighs> My excuse is for a little rest, but it felt good. So I'll show you the technique next week when I'm in a more open space <coughs> to show you the best ways of getting up. I know there's a few more hills to come, but that one is the worst. But it's good. <sighs> Let's keep going. Right, so I made it home. I did about, it was just over four kilometers in the end, about five and a half thousand steps, um, made it up all those hills. And as soon as I came in, I say to you about the layers, as soon as I came in, I had to take my jacket off and take my top off. Still got my base layer on, but it's warm. But truth be known, actually, I could have taken my jacket off, but it's because I was listening to some tunes whilst I was going. Um, and just a tip, obviously if you are listening to stuff whilst you're jogging, just make sure you're in a safe place. Perhaps don't have it so loud so you can still hear cars and everything. If there's lots of people around, then it's great. But if you're in a secluded area, then I'd probably advise against it. But what I did in regards to my pacing, again, I don't want to keep looking at my watch or my phone. So I actually jogged two lengths of tunes and I walked two lengths of tunes. So average tunes are three, between three and four minutes. So... One particular job was about three tunes, then I walked for one or half of one. So you can use anything to gauge you, but you know what? It was a really good, good jog. I was probably out in total about 40 minutes, but I did stop on the other occasion to do my videos and, and film you in and show you the sights. Um, but all in all, it's hard to do that without uh, filming anything. It probably would be just under 40 minutes, but it's nice, slow, gentle. Majority jogging with some walking in between. Um, remember, I have done this before, so a little bit of muscle memory, so I can jog a bit longer. So still keep your own pace of however long you want to walk and then jog, walk and then jog some more and just keep extending it. You'll keep getting better. So good luck. See you next week.